and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you a very special guest that I've had on my list to be on this show for quite some time, and I have finally got him on the sh show. Guys, y'all give it up for none other than the incomparable, the amazing Brent Williams. Thank you Brent, so much. Thanks for having me. Man, Brent, can you hear them clapping for you? You've got I quite can. the fan I can. Amazingly enough, you wouldn't think I would, but I do. Yeah. You got quite the fan club there. <laughs> well, Brent, I want to give you a chance to introduce yourself and uh, share with us a little more about who you are and what you do. Uh, sure, yeah. So uh, I am Chief Insider at Multifamily Insiders. That's my, my, my professional world. We have a, a community of, of uh, multifamily people talking about how to do amazing things in our industry. So uh, that's me professionally. Uh, personally, I have a wife, two kids. Uh, kids are uh, 15 months apart. So that's always an interesting um, <laughs> joy to have them, you know, uh, not kill each other. So, you know, that's that's, that's part of my world of maintaining the peace uh, amongst the Williams clan. So yeah, that's me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I totally understand. I feel your pain having kids, younger kids, you know, being the referee, the, the mediator, all the things that go along with being a, a parent. So uh, kudos to you. That's some great life skills to be able to, if you can manage a family, Right. And you can you can do anything. Exactly, exactly. That's, That'd be a great mediator. Right. Congrats on that one. Well, hey, uh, Brent. Again, you are with Multifamily Insiders. You are so inspiring. The things that you and your team do um, for the multifamily industry, and and I always love to connect with leaders that inspire and encourage other people to to do more and to be better and to think differently. And so I wanted to connect with you so I could peek behind the curtain and see what inspires you. And so I reached out to you and asked for you to share with me a couple of things that inspire you. You shared with me some great narrative, some great nuggets of wisdom. And I want to give you a chance to share with us these things. So the first one that you shared is that you're inspired by greatness or creating something that transcends the normal. And you give this great example of Disney. So I, I want you to share with us a little more what that what that story is and what that means to you and how it inspires you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I love times in, in you know, a place or a time where everything comes together and in that moment, or maybe they don't even realize it's happening in the moment, but something is special happening is happening. You know, you have that buzz that, you know, you kind of the uh, goosebumps moment going, oh my gosh, <laughs> something is really amazing right now. Um, I think that, you know, I always wonder back to like 1800s in Paris, do they realize how amazing the Impressionist movement was becoming in that moment? And, or is it only in retrospect that they go, mm -hmm. oh wow, that was like bringing all together these so amazing artists uh, to create something amazing. Yeah. Um, and like Disney Animation Studios, I, I'm, a, I'm a Disney fan, and I think that that story is really interesting because Disney has such a rich history and legacy, and especially with the animation studio, it's like there's so much there. But over time, it had kind of um, I don't say fallen apart, but you know, it became more and more expensive to produce, and they weren't. Um, getting the, you know, the big reactions that they used to. And so they actually got kicked off the lot. So they were no, the animators were no longer in the historic animation studios. Wow. And I can't imagine how difficult that must have been. And then also you feel like, you know, is that where a great story is gonna come up? Like the, the, now they're off in some sort of like rinky dink, you know, own little studio that's not like the, the historic place. And yet somehow out of the rubble, that's where they were able to, in the late 80s and 90s, produce something extraordinarily special. And I mean, if you look at the number of movies in a row that were just hit after hit, and it's like, and just really grabbed, you know, the cultural mainstream, um, it was just amazingly special. And I think that, it, first of all, it's amazing that they, they, they created something out of, a situation that was not ideal. You know, it didn't have to be like, you know, all the resources were just perfect and whatever. It was more about the passion. It was about the people. It was about their mission and what they cared about and what they wanted to see in creating movies. And that is what made it. It wasn't the physical structures that made it happen or the, the legacy or the history. It was what they made it be. And so I think it's really, 
I think that's interesting. And I think it's interesting to think about the idea of, are these moments in time, are they, are they kind of just a universe that, you know, people happen to come together at the right time and whatever, or can you manifest that, right? Can you, can you somehow with purpose create those, that, that sense of purpose within a group of people and make something special? Um, or is it just kind of a random, ha you know, you know, randomness that, that brings it together? So I think that's really fantastic to think about the, you know, how that comes together. Oh my gosh. And Brett, there's so much to what you shared with us, the stories and, and so forth. And a couple of things that really kind of stood out to me was you kind of made comment about there's magic in the moments. And I think when we really embrace the moments, the magic will come from that. And I truly believe that that's important. So if you're, you're, and it reminds me of a book I read called Fish about uh, Pike's Place Fish Market. When you're present in that moment and you make the best of that moment, then the magic will come from that. And you'll realize hindsight that there's, there's magic there. And then the second thing that you shared that really stuck out, resonated with me is it doesn't matter what your circumstance, what your environment is. It could be the, an old building because you got kicked out of the good one. But no matter what that circumstance, that environment is, you can make the most of it and you can create magic no matter what that is. Yes. Brent, this is some, this is some good deep stuff. I love it. I, you know, you guys <laughs> inspired me and there we go. I love it. Well, so Brent, there's a second thing that you shared that, that inspires you. And I really like this is... You know, we kind of alluded to it a little bit. It's about creating something special, um, and you don't have to be an artist to to create something special, right? Like the animators, they're artists and so forth, so they they certainly. But there's always a story that supports that, and I love how you talk about there's creativity in business. Um, you know, so it, it, there's truly something that you can create no matter what that circumstance might be. So share with us a little more what that means to you and how that creativity inspires you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it comes down to, again, it comes down to the mission. Do people have, you know, a passion about what they're doing? Mm. And then you bring creativity to business all the time. You know, I remember when I was younger, in my younger days, I was, I was, <laughs> uh, I think I was at a bar and I was talking to some girl and, and I was, uh, we were talking about something and she got the impression that I was a free thinker or whatever. And she loved that. And then she was like, what do you do? And I was like, well, I'm in finance. And right then she was like, done. Like, <laughs> no longer interested. Finance did not do it for her. But what she didn't realize really, and I, I've, I've come to really appreciate over the years is that there's so much creativity that goes into all of what we do in the business world, whether it's creatively handling challenges or problems, creating something new and, and a new process or a new event or whatever it is. It's like, it's it's all around us and it's not necessarily painting with brushstrokes, right? It's like, we are all creating things um, and it could be creating an environment, right? You know, kind of mm -hmm. like this, this whole idea of creating a special moment in time is that creating that, uh, that sense of, you know, some sort of special like uh, connection between everybody uh, at, at our work, or I really think it's really interesting to think about creating a special environment in for apartment communities. And yeah. frankly, this is kind of this is actually why I got into multifamily to begin with. Mm -hmm. Is when when I think about um, the most uh, those times in life where it kind of embodies that special moment in my life scenario. Right? Mm -hmm. It was when I lived in a dorm. And we're all crammed together and we all, now we we had the benefit of all being at the same point in our lives. Yeah. So you had this commonality running through everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And so it made it a little easier because everybody you ran to, they're all going through the same thing. We're all figuring out our classes. We're figuring out uh, how the meal system worked or whatever, right? <laughs> um, and so the question that for me has always been, can you create that environment in an apartment community setting mm. with the realization that we're, it's, it's a very diverse community, right? Yeah. So not everybody's going to connect on that deeper level. Um, and so how many people does it take to create that time in their life and go, that was a special time. I remember living in XYZ community yeah. and we just had 
the most amazing time there because we I had this um, great group of friends and we were just all down the halls from each other. And we, we, we hung out every night, we played video games, we watched movies, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. You know, and I think that our industry has this opportunity to create that or create the environment for that to to occur, right? Yeah. We talk yeah. about the the uh, uh, manifesting that. I feel like we can manifest it for other people because we we, we can create that structure that mm -hmm. says, hey, here's, here's how you can connect. I think the challenge is, uh, I wonder if it's truly possible, and if it, if it is, and then what the challenge is figuring out that that recipe to mm. making it so people can actually find out that there are people around them that are that are you know have similar you know phases of life or interests or whatever. Uh, my first one of my first uh, uh, companies in multifamily was a social network for apartment communities, mm. and. Um, the whole idea was, hey, let's, let's somehow make them connect, like realize that there are people just like them and you do not have to feel alone in your apartment community surrounded by 300 other people. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense that you feel alone in that scenario and yet so many people do. Mm -hmm. So can you can we manifest these scenarios where, you know, it doesn't have to be Paris impressionists to have that sense of gravity of like something special, right? It can be those micro moments in people's lives Ooh. that are just as special that they look back 30 years down the road and they go, wow, that was an amazing point in my life. Wow. That that's so good. And 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 Brent, there's some some really like deep things that you share. And I think community is that 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 common denominator. And it takes our creativity in the multifamily industry to create that community, however it may fit for that environment that you're in. And the neat thing is we all have this blank canvas and I'm gonna kind of steal some stuff from your uh, French impressionist descriptions, but we all have this blank canvas where we can create that community. We can create uh, experiences and, and emotional connections. So as, as you said, you're not alone in a 300 you know unit community because there's these and i love how you said micro moments what's what a neat thing it doesn't have to be this grandiose thing it just it's these micro moments of connections and experiences and community just built through micro moments brent you you're bringing the inspiration sir i sure hope so because it really just like this idea this concept I think is so powerful. And so if we can somehow harness it, um, you know, it's always been for a long time in our industry, like this idea of sense mm -hmm. of community and it kind of became passe, I think, frankly. Yeah. Um, it became more about the physical amenities. What, what can we do there? And and now we have service-based amenities. And and then, but I think there's an opportunity, uh, you know, to to still do this. And I, I, I will never give up on my dream, you know, <laughs> as, you know, no matter what the case. That's awesome. And Brent, please don't ever give up on your dream because your dreams have inspired so many people. So, and, and I personally thank you. And I imagine there's so many others that thank you as well. But Brent, we're getting close to the end of our time. But before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. You know, I don't know, you know, at the end of the day, I think, you know, when we talk about inspiration, I think ultimately for me, it comes down to people and the people mm -hmm. you surround yourself with. Um, and, and, and I think, you know, every day, so let's say I go and I meet with some friends or whatever. And, you know, when I think about, you know, living life with purpose, I go into that moment going with a, hey, this is going to be a, a fun night. We're going to have a lot, you do a lot of, you know, we're going to have an amazing night or go in with it kind of blah and be like, okay, you know, I mean, or maybe even like dreading it sometimes, you know, sometimes yeah. we're like, okay, I, I said <laughs> I was going to go out and now I'm like, great, I'm going out, right? So like going in with that, that purpose and, and and I think can create a lot of special moments that we kind of miss out on um, these yeah. days. I love that being in the moment and, and being creative with those moments that you have where you can create a community and experience. Brent, it's just it just all came together. You are really good, sir. Hey, team, make sure you are following Brent on LinkedIn. Make sure you check out Multifamily Insiders. Absolutely an amazing uh, experience to be a part of that community there. So make sure I'll put all the information on how to connect to multifamily insiders and Brent on LinkedIn in the show notes so you guys can stay connected with them. Brent, thank you again for joining me today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. It's been awesome. Gary, it was my pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Hey, and we will see y'all on the next episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. See you.